Welcome to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna get some of the components on the rear all buttoned up, trying to get that wrapped up. So we're gonna have the bumper brackets uh, finalized and we're also gonna get the rear bumper put on, all that so that we can figure out where we wanna do the battery disconnect and even mount the battery in the trunk. Uh, so we can start looking at where we're going to route all the wiring there. But then we're going to move forward and start doing some of the interior uh, panels and components so that we can figure out what we want to do and how we want to mount the pedal assembly as well as the steering column, get all that wrapped up, just slowly moving forward to the front of the car. So excited for what's going to be in this episode. Let's get to work. So when David made the bumper brackets, he just had a pilot hole started in a rough location of where the factory holes were in the body. And so what I'm using now is a steel carbide uh, with a lubricant. Anytime you're using a steel carbide, you wanna use a lubricant uh, to keep your bit cool. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm opening up the holes to the oval shape that fits the factory holes in the body. Bumpers mounted, all the gaps and lines look really good, centered up and even. And then in here, we're using the Moto Build battery box. Love this piece, love their products, well built, look amazing. Uh, love how this box fits perfectly between the beads that were already put in the floor here. So it should be a very nice way to secure the battery in the back. All right, so I need your help. In the 60s and 70s, cars like this had gas tank in the back behind the rear bumper here and so they would do creative stuff for the fuel filler like this car having it behind the license tag so the help i need is do we mount the battery disconnect behind the license tag in this nice little hole where the fuel filler was or do we do like a normal race car mounted on the rear bumper cutting a hole in the bumper and mounting it there so this we can make it where the tag removes so when he's racing, you could have the disconnect very visible right there. Uh, but when he's on the street, it would be hidden. So let me know in the comments what you think. Behind the license tag or on the bumper? All right, to help prevent waste when fabricating sheet metal panels, what I like to do is go buy a local home improvement store like Lowe's or Home Depot and get round board. Uh, round board is used to cover flooring and like a new construction. But what's great about the round board for sheet metal fabrication is it's very easy to work with with scissors. You can actually use a straight edge to put a break in it, uh, just like the sheet metal panel will be in a press break. Uh, but it also holds shape really well. So this round board stuff is the way to go for us when fabricating sheet metal panels, just to help us prevent having waste and having to throw sheet metal away. Stuff ain't cheap.
All right, so continuing to make our interior panels first out of the ram board to save on waste and material cost. And as you're making a template with the ram board, you can just write notes on here uh, with what's needed before you transfer it over to a piece of sheet metal. So new from this piece, it was roughly the, the shape that I wanted. Had my notes on here to transfer it over so that when I put it over on the sheet metal, I had uh, the ability to know where I wanted the brake put in here. And the brake is just to help tie it into the other sheet metal in the vehicle. Uh, when we go to final assembly, we'll use these brakes as an area to put silicone and caulk to seal up the interior so that you're not getting uh, road debris and or smoke from like a burnout coming into the cab uh, with the driver. Um, things like that also help keep vibration down on panels like this, which uh, allow them to last a little bit longer. Uh, metal when it's moving and vibrating is wearing out. It uh, only has a limited life when it's vibrating like that. So other things like using the bead roller to put a bead in the metal over a large surface of flat metal help make it more rigid uh, so that it's not vibrating as bad as well. Stuff like that goes a long way uh, for driver comfort to resist fatigue, uh, both physically and mentally as the driver is driving the vehicle. So it's important to have steps like that uh, to make sure a driver's got a very nice vehicle when they're in the cockpit. So anyway, getting the panels done, getting the interior done and moving forward on the vehicle with the sheet metal. Thank <laughs> you.